let's begin let's see what's coming your way and we see some hermit mode oh what's going on must be the pandemic right when we see the hermit we know it's a time of reflection it's the soul journey and uh, probably at this time what makes you happy it's a little bit like stepping back from the world and um, and having a moment to yourself of course for some of you can be a virgo and they make us happy and this is what we want it's the nine of cups with the energy of wish fulfillment and uh, getting what we deserve but i kind of feel it's a moment of solitude the lovers that is a choice right that is a choice that we uh, need to make in silence um in retreat um, we know the uh, the lovers is um head over heart or the vice versa right and the devil so we might have to choose between a virgo and a capricorn and um we might have to choose between what makes us happy and what we are addicted to bound to um toxically connected to we'll see it can simply be a capricorn i mean for the love of god why it has to be i'm talking i'm, I'm joking uh the queen of pentacles Taurus Virgo, a capricorn again maybe an earth sign that we need to choose right uh, or um you know two earth signs and um and I kind of feel, you know, the situation is kind of unstable and we need for your, for our own sake and happiness. We need to speak our truth and make a choice over there. We do have the um, High Priestess in reverse. We need to talk. It's revelation time, right? We thought about or we um, go in retreat to make a choice, like an important choice. And, um, and Nine of Pentacles for our own stability and joy and happiness. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, right? And your financial stability and your physical integrity. You know, sometimes a connection is um, can be quite draining. Now let's have the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. We do have the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Cups. And it has the energy of being emotionally drained by the situation at this time. Feels like we don't have much love, um, such that it feels like we want though. We know the Knight of Cups is a lot of um, emotions. Of course, it's my love you, I want you, I want to make love to you card, but then, and energy. But then um, all this is in reverse, so lately we are not that happy. Let's see why and let's see the outcome. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. And again, you know you have to use your better judgment. I actually count on you, Sagittarius, to use your better judgment. Bottom of the deck, the star. I love this, Aquarius. It's all about healing, Knight of Swords, rushing to healing, Three of Swords pain and the empress we do have the knight of swords in reverse again things were not moving but we see some movement and i love this somebody here is emotionally hurt emotionally drained um it feels like we don't have what we want but it's a matter of time and it's a matter of perspective it's a matter of alignment and spirituality with the star and it's a matter of action that's a knight of swords but i feel december is the time for my Sagittarius to do something about. But you know what? Let's see. Before we jump to conclusions here. Um, so what happened in the past? It happened eight of pentacles and it happened the emperor. Probably um, you met this person at work, Sagittarius. It feels like somewhere. Um, you know, eight of pentacles is the energy of um, of work and school. And maybe this is where you, you met. But can be an Aries, by the way. They show up here strongly in your energy, but I, I kind of feel it, uh, the level of control that it required, right? The Emperor is really being strategic, having a plan and, and keeping everything under control. And I also feel, um, such as that this connection required a lot of effort, right? And it was emotionally draining. We saw the devil and some choices around that, so maybe somebody was extremely jealous and um, controlling and... Um, and at some point we needed our freedom, right? Um, the Knight of Swords is the energy of freedom, is the energy of breaking free, of taking action, even if it's a little bit harsh, but uh, I mean, we need the fight because we need the freedom. 
and I kind of feel at some point, um, you know, we looked um, at the situation right into its eyes, right? <laughs> and um, we exhibited a plan and actually it looks like an exit plan, but a strong one, maybe one that hurt everybody involved, but um, it's something that we needed here. It has a sense of breaking free. Now this person, they do have the two of cups. If your question was, and if you know they had emotions and love, that is no doubt they want it back. And probably you had a back and forth, or at least one try of um, going back, and um, and uh, a lot of love for you, a strong bond, a strong connection, real emotions that they had for you. And um, the challenge is between the two of you, the nine of wands and the hermit. So again, poor communication. One very hurt, the other one um, going in retreat, needing their time, uh, their time apart, time away. A lot of philosophy and different energies and a lot of philosophy based on um, compatibility and, um, and um, different energies at some point in time, right? And then there was some release. Nine of Wands is letting go. And um, probably with the silent treatment, it has this energy of disappearance. The hermit goes up into the mountains. So it has, you know, a sense of I let go and I move away and I stay silent for a while, you know. So, uh, but we do have a, you know, Eight of Pentacles is a beautiful energy of effort. It's, a, you know, in trying to put things together. So if they paid attention, right? they would have had the chance to see. So where are we right now? We do have the Six of Pentacles and the Hangman in Reverse. This is the energy of seeking balance and um, Six of Pentacles is the energy of kindness, is the energy of charity, is the energy of compromise, the energy of let's meet halfway, let's see, reciprocation of some sort, uh, but not changing your idea about what happened, you know. Um, the hangman is the energy of no, you know, I don't need to walk a mile in your shoes. I know exactly what happened, right? I don't need to change my perspective. I mean, I have a clear head about it. Now, this person of yours, they do have the seven of swords in reverse and the six of cups. The only card I don't read in reverse because it's a soulmate card and boy, they loved you so much. Um, such as two of cups in the past, six of cups right now, definitely living in the past, remembering the time, the communication, the love. Maybe you had children uh, with them, but um, seven of swords, right? That is a sense of disappointment in their energy right now that they are trying to uh, move out of. Um, it has an energy of wanting to do the right thing at this time, out of love, wanting to come back. Um, maybe not uh, being fully honest um, and I feel that it's more with themselves than with you I don't think they did something uh, wrong it's um, we have too much sincere love for somebody to be manipulative but absolutely they might think that the whole situation is a big trick right um, <clears throat> and maybe they are blaming kind of a loose behavior or something that was not honest but at the end of the day, that is, they have only pure love for you. Now, such as mutual energies between the two of you at this time, page of swords, stalking each other, looking, um, uh, I mean, not having any communication whatsoever, but looking into what's going on in your life and you in their life. Because uh, both of you, you come from a place of fear, right? But it's a dissipating fear. Or we... We have this type of behavior so that, um, you know, slowly we let go of some uh, form of fear, some form of um, dark emotions. Um, the moon, it has the energy of depression. It has the energy of anxiety. It has the energy of a very heavy, um, you know, and when we look at the overall energy, right, this connection is um, um, extremely draining. And I believe for two different reasons, somebody here is... Um, is actually coming from a place of taking control while the other person has a lot of love. So again, two different energies and two different fears, um, by the way. 
The possible outcome for you, definitely stability. We do have the Four of Wands and the King of um, Wands, which is you, Sagittarius. So you come back to yourself full of energy and full of passion. But definitely somebody wants stability, marriage, commitment. They are willing to offer. They are actually waiting to offer love at the right time. Three of Wands with the lovers. And they had two of cups in the past, six of cups right now, and lovers in the energy coming their way with the three of wands. I mean, you cannot have more than this, Sagittarius. You are absolutely and deeply loved by this person who is willing to wait for you and offer this um, crazy stability. Four of wands is marriage, and um, it is um, marriage and commitment, right? And yet, mutual energies between the two of you, the world, and the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, and some unfinished business. I do believe that is somebody between the two of you, um, such that it is. We do have the Empress, and we do have the King of Pentacles. So, however, this resonates. This is Libra, Taurus energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But absolutely, we have um, probably one person. Um, somebody of influence can be a parent, can be, um, you know, the mother of their children, the father of their children, can be somebody important, somebody who for a long time provided and um, made them feel safe. That's, it has also the energy of unfinished business with, uh, with someone. By the, by the looks of their energy, they have a lot of love for you. So maybe on your side, there is um, still a connection that is not yet finished. There are, there are some energies that are manifested um, probably in your life right now. And this is why um, and how they are standing between you and this person of yours. Um, so Sagittarius, let's see, should we say yay, should we say nay? We have you heartbroken and we have you probably a little bit not knowing which way to go, but wanting to break free anyways. For some of you, you are Empress, you are Emperor, somebody. We do have the Emperor and the Empress here, right? We know it's about a married couple. We know it's about people who built uh, stability in the past and now, now we have this uh, turmoil happening. Right, and unfinished business, but you tell me why, because on their side they have only pure love for you and such that is. Um, so now let's see, should we say yay, should we say nay, what exactly, I'm feeling two energies here, we'll see. So we do have express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So whoever you are in love with, um, such that is, now it's the time. And deception somebody comes from a place of love and somebody comes from a place of deception someone is wearing a, a false self mask in this relationship we do have free yourself from deception and express love it's time to take back control of your life such that is. and we do have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and bottom of the deck, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And again, a confirmation of that energy of somebody. You know, we have to free ourselves from somebody who feels stable. And um, probably has a lot of love for you. And finally express feelings for someone. I mean, right? Honest feelings. So, I'm just saying. Now let's see what else is there for us, such that is. It's been a while now that I'm picking up that energy where we live behind maybe a connection where there is love but there is also deception or a lack of um, true feelings or one-sided type of connection. So we have express your love and commitment. Somebody here such serious is guided to be true to a commitment that they expressed and to love. We have deception with forgiveness, so we need to forgive somebody for their uh, deceptive ways, disappointing ways. We do have intimacy, free yourself in intimacy, so whatever physical bond you have with somebody or exclusive physical bond with somebody, you kind of have free yourself, right? And um, I'm just saying if you are the booty call, well maybe there is some food for thought there. We do have dating. Stay optimistic about your love life and dating. 
and it's special love and commitment and i love this even more bottom of the deck reparenting yourself right being the parent you never had retrain your brain when it comes to love and commitment and connection and and true love and expressing feelings and uh, being the stable one right the parent is always the one that offers stability and brings an environment a safe environment you know for the kid to grow um so yeah i love this from from this deck actually this is the uh, the energy i love the most reparenting yourself um so such let's let's look into the energies we have to put back into the flow and we do have tolerance you appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone so we need to bring back tolerance we might be impatient lately we do have judgment i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges it's interesting right tolerance and judgment maybe we are harsh um with someone and we have less patience about their ways um and um and the universe is saying come on slow down you can do it um surrender failure right i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so whatever deception and an energy of um of freedom that you have to put back into the flow it's actually not the failure it's actually a lesson i love vision no matter what you see the bigger picture of a loving just universe right and it is stay optimistic stay optimistic have a vision right and don't treat yourself harsh don't judge yourself and don't judge others bottom of the deck i love this empathy i am open to seeing both sides of the of a situation um, there is no doubt such as that this person loves you. I'm not sure you are that, um, I'm not sure you are that open emotionally to this person. And maybe at times you might lose your temper. And, um, and in this one it's all about, you know, um, and it, it has this sense of, you know, sometimes we stay in a connection for a long time and, and we shouldn't and we know and yet we continue to stay. And it's a deception for both parties involved, right? So why? Why the deception? Why can't we free ourselves when we feel it for the first time, right? Or the second if we need time to think, right? And, um, and I feel somebody here is like, free yourself, but you know, be it, you know, um, do it without judgment, patiently, right? With empathy, with a sense of vision, a sense of future, a sense of healing, because you also have the stars and a sense of divine guidance, divine purpose, right? For the right reasons. So, um, so sorry, yes. I have now general guidance. It has nothing to do with this love. Sometimes it does, but we'll see what you get. That is a message um for someone out there we do have travel your life purpose involves traveling well no nobody is traveling <laughs> but um it involves traveling so either you have to question either it's just a statement so that you identify with this reading and we have freedom again freedom you're free to do what you choose um, such that is and maybe you're the person you love the person you need to express your love to they might be away from you and it says freedom and it says travel travel bottom of the deck what do you desire yeah freedom and what do you desire you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires once once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them they'll rush into your life if by as if by magic again the energy of manifestation right once you know what you want you'll know how to attract so um and it's interesting it has a sense of freedom such that so that is one message to be um to be had from this reading it's a sense of freedom of breaking free of expressing emotions you know maybe it's not express your love but a sense of 
um, releasing something and finally having a conversation where deception is not in every word that we express because they don't reflect what we truly think, you know. It has a sense of freedom. So I'm just saying, I am just saying because this person, they are all about commitment, by the way. But hey, the heart wants what the heart wants. So who are we to judge, right? So Sagittarius, you know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.